Alright guys, what we have here today is a 2006 Planet, Planet Eclipse Ego. <coughs> I'm just going to do some basic maintenance on this thing. Shut it off a little bit. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is pop the bolt pin. Simple enough. Lay that aside. Next thing you can do is take off your high pressure egg. And while you're at it, go ahead and take your low pressure egg off. Alright, lay them parts to the side. We'll get to them in a second. Go ahead and disconnect the macro line so it's out of the way. Uh, what else? Let's get to the rammer. Alright, you're going to need a uh, size uh, 530 seconds, I believe it is. That one size up, which is a uh, 318th. All right, now let's get to the rammer. Just unscrew this back cap, pull that out. Then your rammer should come straight out, like such. All right, now this is pretty much as far as you need to go. Unless you need to change your battery. And on the battery, it's on the right right hand side of the grip. I need to remove these three screws. One. Alright, now what this video is going to show is just basic how to lubricate your earrings, check for earring defaults, all that good stuff. Alright, all right, here's where your battery is located. You can just pop that out. Alright, now this, you pretty much don't have to go any further than this unless you need to change the detent, which you just take off one of these off covers and you can get to both detents. But that's all we're going to take apart for today. <coughs> now let's get to the HBR. Can you see that? Yeah, alright. You just break that loose. Comes unscrewed. And you got to get this out. And try not to take these shims off. I really don't like the shim design. I prefer the spray. Alright, but you want to just clean that out. As clean as you can get it. Clean these. Clean the piston off. stuck there. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on the piston. Alright, then you want to check this o-ring for anywhere whatsoever. Mine looks okay, so we're going to leave it alone. <coughs> now what we're going to do is relieve it. Use any type of <coughs> paintball gun oil. They say to use the plenty of clip stuff. I'm all the planning clip stuff, so I'm actually using this old Empire lube that I have laying around. Okay. Just put a little bit on there, okay? Go ahead and put a little bit on the shims. Put it back into the rig. Screw it back together. Pretty simple, huh? Alright. Let's 
done. Get lay that aside. <coughs> now the LPR, pretty much the same thing. Pull this out. Yeah, that the spring. Got to get the piston out though. There we go. Alright, there's the other spring. That's all that comes out. Alrighty. So we know this spring goes in first. <coughs> Alright. Now same thing, you got a different you got a smaller piston. Just wipe it off, wipe all the old lube off. Check your air in. This one looks fine. Right, and a little bit of weed. Alright, put it back together. And drop that silver spring in. Drop the piston back in. Good to go. Pull that to the side. And now let's get to the rammer. Alright, wipe that off. Alright, check the air. Alright, mine looks alright. Put some oil on it. Now what you can do is you can put this back in the body. Let's put it down in. Drop it in place. Take your back cap. Put some fresh oil on this back cap. There's a small airing one there that helps seal it up. Put a little bit of oil on that. Go ahead, screw that back into place. Tighten it down. Alrighty. Go ahead and screw your high pressure egg back on. And then go ahead and put your low pressure rig on. <coughs> you can go ahead and put your math LM back on. Back in, I should say. Oop, that's the wrong way that it was. Alright. Now for the bolt. You got two O rings right here. Now. I normally don't put a lot of lubricant on here because what tends to happen is it dunks up my eyes <coughs> or it sprays it down on the barrel. I normally take one drop on each side where the detent slots are. One small little drop on each side. And then I'll twist it around. And that's it. Line it up with the rammer. Make sure it's in place. You can feel it hit the valve if it's in place, and you feel that little pushback. Runs in place. So now, place your battery. Put a fresh battery in there. And put these three screws back in, and you're good to go. You just completely serviced. All the major parts on your O6 Ego. I didn't get into taking out the board or the solenoid just because that's not routine maintenance. 
I can make a video on how to swap out the boards or swap out the solenoids if anyone's interested. <coughs> you can email me at Enoch E N I K nineteen eighty eight eighty eight at hotmail .com. If you have any questions whatsoever regarding this marker. Alright, now all we're gonna do is turn it on. Show you that it's working. Eyes off. You can hear the solenoid. You can see the shot counter. Yep, everything seems to be working. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Check out some of my other videos.